welcome to the Roundtable Sports Talk with uh, I'm Little Boy, the host of the show. Uh, I'm from the Fat Man Little Boy Show. Uh, with me today, I got Darren from PFT Sports. I got Nick here from PFT Sports. And I got uh, Evan, who is a viewer, who uh, contacted us, and he said that he had something to add, so uh, we brought him on in. So uh, we'll see what he says. Uh, say hello to everybody out there, uh, Evan. Hello. <laughs> I love the confidence, dude. I love it. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Uh, just so uh, so you guys know, this is a, a roundtable discussion, and uh, I pick a few different subjects out that I want to talk about, and these guys here don't really know what we're going to talk about. So uh, <coughs> so we'll start out with like uh, – well, we'll see. How we do, man. <laughs> um, oh, real quickly, I was uh, telling somebody about uh, your guys' website, Nick, and uh, – Oh, you he, mean the one where the content's never stale? Yeah, and that's what he oh, asked okay. me. He said – he goes, I refuse to go there uh, unless the content is... Uh, <laughs> and I said, oh, you don't worry. You get the guarantee. I got to uh, come up with something different, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Beating the hell out of that one for a yeah. while. <laughs> Anyways, first topic, uh, probably what everybody else is already talking about, too, Ryan Braun. Mm, beautiful. Ryan Braun uh, uh, tested dirty, uh, supposedly, uh, got his suspension. Uh, he blamed the tester uh, for his, uh, his pee test in dirty. Um, his exact quote was, uh, there were a lot of things that we learned about the collector, about the collection process, about the way the entire thing worked. And he ended up beating it. And uh, I was curious what you guys thought about that. Do you think that if he's going to say something like that, should he come out and say, this is what we learned about the collector? Because when you hear the collector talk, he, uh, he's been doing this for a long time. Uh, we'll start with you, Dee. Um, i got a couple different I'm – I'm on – couple different sides of the fence here. Right. For one, the players are held to such a high standard when it comes to these drug testings that whoever's taking care of the doing the drug testing should be held to high standards as well. So I completely understand if it was not the proper protocol, then he should have beat it. But at the same time, never did anyone from Ryan Braun's camp come out and say that he wasn't dirty. I mean, the bottom line is he's still pissed dirty. Right. So whether whether he won the appeal on, you know, on some, you know, technicality, basically, um, the bottom line is he still had dirty pee, and he's still obviously taking something. Yeah. I mean, so uh, with that being said, I mean, the poor guy's image, I don't really want to call Ryan Brown a poor guy, you know, <laughs> yeah. but uh, his image is tarnished, you know. I mean, there there goes everything. I doubt he'll ever get in the Hall of Fame and, and uh, whatever. What do you think, Sergey Wright Brewer. I mean, yeah, he blamed the collector. Who else are you going to blame? You're not going to come out yeah. and say, yeah, I, I, I cheated. I'm a cheater. <laughs> you know, let's put me on Barry Bond status and let's let's go nuts with well, it. Well, the funny thing is the collector, he said, you know, I've been doing this for five years. I've done over 600 tests. He followed the protocols that he was supposed to follow. If he took it to the uh, to the place to ship it out, it was going to sit there for the weekend. You know, we all know how, how messed up FedEx does can he, be. Does he just have a um, jar? Yeah, that's I like, what I'm saying. I like the, does he just have a jar sitting in his basement of synthetic urine yeah. or synthetic yeah. testosterone? Yeah, just kept it in the kitchen or something. I mean, what, I mean, who are we kidding here? Ryan Braun really think that that this this old man had sliced into his package because he doesn't like Ryan Braun for some reason. Yeah, you know, nobody likes Ryan Braun less than I do, and I wouldn't even do that. <laughs> I mean, come on, Ryan, just whatever. What do you think, Nick? Well, to be honest with you, I, I heard the uh, collector put Kill Whitey right on top of the uh, <laughs> apple, so I smell a rat right off the bat. <laughs> now, I uh, to be honest with you, I'm. I'm uh, <laughs> Little, little little peeved uh, because I'm a Cubs fan and I was looking forward to a season where I would look at the Brewers and they wouldn't have Prince Fielder or Ryan Braun. So, uh, uh, rain little rain on my parade, but uh, you know what are you gonna do, man? You know, you know I, I don't I don't I don't hate the the Brewers like you guys do, but I'm a really I really really get upset when I you feel hate like, everything first off. Yeah, well I'm becoming a little bit more like you every yeah. year, um, but I. I really hate it when somebody cheats and gets away with it. You know what I mean? I feel like I, I try and follow the rules. So when somebody else isn't following the rules and they don't get caught, it, it makes me mad. I like it when people get caught. And I, I really <laughs> I do. And, and I at do. the end of the day, awesome. you know, that's yeah. a perfect way to put it. He, yeah. he got away with cheating. Yes. It's a perfect way to put it. And if you're, you know, he, he said some really bad stuff about this guy, about this and he collector. He about suing him. Yeah. Are you kidding? But if you really say, you know, you know, there were a lot of things we learned about the collector, why don't you tell us? Three or four, a lot is a lot, right? I mean, right. the the word a lot you would think would be what nine, ten things. Why don't you tell us two things, Ryan, that you learned about right. this guy that made you think just two? So, you know, we don't need a lot. You know, like you like you promised us, we need two. You know? Yeah, I didn't like the way Ryan Braun came out no, in the press conference. Not at all. Not at all. You he's know? got the break of a lifetime, and he's going to go yes. and throw somebody else under the bus. Yes, and, and I think that the fact that they were saying that his 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 tested like. Twice as high as Manny Ramirez, who wow. had set the all-time record for yeah. as high as anybody had ever tested. Yeah. 
And that's like what his excuse. How do we know that he didn't do something to make it? You know, when he knew he was going to piss dirty, so they he just made an astronomical high. Yeah, yeah so, he, so they he had, had something that they could do. Say, well, there's no way we can get rid of it, but what we can do is we can make it really high, so it'll look abnormal. Yes, you know. Well, so, what do you what do you think about? Uh, I don't know. Look for his prow. It's power numbers, you know. That's going to be the telltale I, sign. Yeah. I read an article on that. Next year. I read know? an article on that. I said, you know, in three or four years, we're going to have to see what, what happens with his power numbers or see, see if his numbers go down. You know, it's a lot of pressure. You know? I mean, he's got he's to live up to those, those, those former numbers where, yeah. you know, everything's through the roof. I mean, I'll tell you what, his first 50 games, he better really tear it up because... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the day isn't all that money guaranteed anyway. I mean, yeah. yeah. yeah but he's, still playing in, he's still playing in Milwaukee, and he's got one of the purest swings in baseball, so he's still going to hit home runs there, but... I mean, if he hits, if he goes and hits, you know, seventy this year, they're going to say, oh, he's still juicing. And if he hits twenty, they're going to say he was in fall off. So, yeah, because yeah. he's not juicing. Yeah, so that's a good yeah, point. He's, he's done either way. Done anyway. Yeah, yeah, he's already. Unless done. he so can come up with two things that this guy that made you think that this guy uh, might have uh, messed no, with your no, with no, your sample. I just want two, Ryan. Just two, man. Well, <laughs> but talking about the whole thing from the Brewer standpoint is. I mean, they have put all their eggs in the Ryan Braun basket. Oh yeah. You know, they've shipped off uh, Prince Fielder. <coughs> Ryan, now. Ryan Braun is basically the face of that franchise. Sure. I mean, who, who else is? Yeah. So it's just kind of it's kind of shame for them. Caught the you know? break of a lifetime. Yeah. All right, uh, we're gonna move on to the to the next topic. That's uh, it's gonna be more into it's it's not quite sports. It's more like fitness. Um, I got a little story to tell you. Um, uh, I go to the gym, you know, throughout the week. I know Darren, you go to the gym. Evan, I know you go to the gym. I watch a lot and, of people um, go to the gym. <laughs> I believe you make a you make a, a non non tax deductible donation to the gym every month. I believe. I know I do. Yeah. Okay. It's good but, to uh, oh, we just uh, we just out Nick here. Is that what we're yeah, doing? Yeah. Oh, okay. We're doing. Okay, I'm done. That was it. We just oh. want to tell everybody. Yeah, you know the, the feds do watch Twitter and, and shows like this, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, I went to the gym a couple weeks ago, and I've, I've been wanting to tell Darren this story. Uh, we talk about stuff like this, but I've been saving it for this show. All right. I'm, uh, you know, doing my workout, whatever. I go. I need to use the bathroom. I set my water bottle on the uh, countertop. I go to the bathroom. I turn around. A guy had gotten out of the shower. <laughs> He's standing there, like what seemed like inches with away from my water bottle, completely naked, getting ready to <laughs> shave, and his junk is sitting on. The counter, like right next to my water bottle. You wanna know oh, wait, wait, wait. Is and this a is this a throwaway water bottle yeah. or like a nice? Gym? No, it's just a throwaway water. Doesn't oh. matter. Well, exactly. And you know, I tell you what, I know it wasn't touching it, whatever. But you know, you can be comfortable with your nakedness, but that doesn't mean I have to be Don't comfortable lie, you with it. Don't lie, you out of it after that. You know. Well, Did yeah. Can I, mean, I tell you something? Yeah. Uh, at the uh, San Carlos LA Fitness, you know what we call that? <laughs> We call that Tuesday. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Every morning. No, the right. thing is, where, the way my gym is, you got the showers, you got the lockers, and then you have the bathrooms way over here. Why do you have to be completely naked? People, there's some people just grew up in a locker room. With your junk on the countertop. It's like it softball makes, guy. It's like fantasy football guy. It just, I, I was completely floored. Was I'm this thinking, guy you know, over 45? Oh, Had to I, win. I don't know. I, don't, I didn't ask him. I'm sure he must have been laying halfway decent with that kind of confidence, right? I mean, <laughs> let's be honest. You're not laying nice. You're not going to attempt a stunt like that, are you? You know what? I, I find myself amazed every morning. You know, I'm, I'm walking around. I, I towel cover up. It's an absolute race how quick I get my own. <laughs> yeah, right? You know? And uh, to, see, to see the confidence of some of these guys, you know, I, I can't Can wait to take get... a shower with the underwear on. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, huh? yeah. No, yeah, no, I'm not uh, quite I'm not... that, go to that extreme. Hey. I think it's just a, a generations thing because yes, it's, 100%. Yeah, it's a crazy story. It's totally away from the gym, but my father came on uh, my ship for a Tiger cruise when I was in the military, and all of us, you know, guys are getting ready in the morning. That's right, Navy boy. Yeah, you probably used to seeing stuff like that. Yeah, it's an everyday. You know, that's that's our weekly thing, uh, our Tuesday. But uh, he comes on board and he's taking a shower in the morning. and Everybody's brushing their teeth, and you know, the com- the courtesy thing is you put your clothes on, and then you go brush your teeth. Yes. <laughs> yeah, or my, you put them on before you shave or wrap a towel around Well, there's, nine, there's you know, 90-something of us brushing our teeth there, and my dad's just standing there butt naked like it was nothing. Everyone's looking at me like, you know, hey, what's your dad doing? Yeah, you know, what, what are you doing here? And, yeah. You know, I tell my dad to put under on, yeah. and he kind of looked at me like, 
What's the problem? It's a know? locker room mentality. You know what? Back in the day, they used to shower in, in high schools and stuff. They don't do that anymore. So you're I guess, absolutely right. Yeah, I think it's mind, a I can't even say that. Yeah. Go I don't home, know. It so. just—it was really uncomfortable. I didn't know? realize we were going to go with funny stories in this whole round table. I got. <laughs> I just want to talk about Jim. Ed- I mean, it was like a, a Jim <laughs> etiquette thing. I'm just saying, you know what? I don't think there is. Throw a towel on for crying out loud. Like, be think... comfortable. It's not. It's it's not a nudist colony. I know it's a locker room and guys are changing. I got to take a shower in there too. All that stuff, but. You don't need to walk from one end all the way to the other. That's amazing. I, I think and it's And just hilarious. stand there with your junk on the counter while you're shaving. I'm going to get you a week pass. I'm going to give you a week pass to uh, to where I go, and, and you'll be used <laughs> yeah, to Yeah, at my gym, I, that's not normal. You guys would be amazed how much wiener I see in a week. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> now, maybe and, uh, we wouldn't. Yeah, you probably <laughs> wouldn't. <laughs> all right. Anyways, I, I had that story. I had that story for you. Oh, I know. saved it. I saved it. I wanted to do it on this show. Appreciate I know we talked about stuff like now, that. Now all of our live uh, viewers just yeah, they're probably know, both of them are probably gone now. now. <laughs> all two of them. Yeah. Um, third topic: um, RG three or Andrew Luck. If you're a GM of an NFL football team, who do you draft? And does it depend on the type of team you already have, or or does it not? You know, we'll start with you. You know what, to be honest with you, uh, after watching that combine, man, I, it's hard to go Yeah, against. you watch the combine a lot. I, oh, oh you're, I did the R all over the place. A few pops. Oh, no, it's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, um, no, I, I either guy, the, the Luck's been the guy that's, you know, predicted to go number one and stuff. But, man, after watching that combine, man, RG3, man, that's, how do you argue with that speed? I yeah. mean, that guy just, I, I think he, it was sub 4-4, right? Yeah, the, the forty-yard dash. His first four, one, I think it's. Yeah. I think that was like an unofficial. I think his official one was like four, four one or something uh, like that. I don't, yeah, I, I, I saw the guy. Look, tiny guy bit explosive. faster than I can run it. I know. Yeah, right. Just, yeah, just a, a tad. <laughs> just a tad. Yeah, no, I don't know. I, I, I seems like everybody thinks that Luck is going to go to Indianapolis, and I don't know, right. man. I after seeing uh, RG three go do his thing, you know, I, I don't know, man. It's hard to argue that kind Wouldn't of speed, that be man, such a and curveball? the athleticism. Wouldn't that be such a curveball into the sports world if, if the Colts drafted RG3? Oh That'd be beautiful. Would it? Goodness. Would it, though? I mean, but look at what Cam no, but it, it would, because Andrew Luck's yeah. been the guy for the last year. Nobody's, and a half. They haven't talked about uh, Robert Griffith at all at uh, in, Nothing. Indianapolis. Straight up. You, you don't think that'd be a curveball? You wouldn't be surprised? No, no, I don't think I would be that surprised. I mean, Andrew Luck didn't have the best year ever in college this year. Uh, Robert Griffin won the Heisman. Robert Griffin, you know, took his team to its first BCS bowl game. You know what? Let me ask you a question. Did Tom Brady ever have a phenomenal college yeah. seasons? I mean, uh, was well, he ever? Real. Yeah. Well, you know, you, you take you, well, you, you're, you're, talking, you're, talking, you're talking about the draft. You're talking. You're not talking about the prof- who had a better professional career. It's, you're going in the draft. You're, you're, it's a guessing game. Right. Exactly. So you go off their college career. Andrew Luck was good. You know, I'm a Cal fan, so I hate his guts. But he, uh, you know, he was good, and he's he's got the best. Fundamentally, you know, fundamentals, and he's sound and everything like that. But the league is turning into playmakers. The league's getting so fast and so quick. The defensive ends mm-hmm. are running four, you know, four four fives, four sevens, whatever it is. You know, this, look at Cam Newton. No you one just, thought, no you, one thought he was going to do anything. You just said it, and you know, the league is so fast and so so, you know, explosive and athletic. I mean, it, I know the combine doesn't really. It shouldn't mean everything in the world, but I mean, there's there's got to be something to be said for that athleticism, and, and I'm thinking that the idea is that can I you know, can I tell you something? The league is so fast, and the league is so athletic. Top five quarterbacks in the league right now are all goofy white guys. Yeah. Slow goofy right white now. guys. Well, you know, uh, right now, but all Colin, of those guys are going. I was listening to, I was listening to Colin Cow- no, no Colin way. Cowherd last year. I mean, this morning, and he was talking about how back in the day. First round draft choices for quarterbacks were fifty fifty bust, yeah, yeah. and he said yeah. if you go over like since like two thousand four, it's like eighty uh, percent of them are either pro bowlers or serviceable at least. They're not right. busting out. It's not as it's not happening as much, and he thinks it's because of the rules changes. Made it's made it a lot easier for offenses, which has made it you know back when you know these other guys were busting out, it was very difficult for the uh, for the quarterback. You know, it was a lot more difficult for a quarterback to play back then. Yeah. And he thinks that has I thought I that's the first time I'd ever heard that. I thought it made a lot of sense to me actually. Thank I'd Tom Brady for before. some of the new rules. Yeah, the quarterbacks. Yeah, everything's a Tom I'm Brady also, rule. I'm also a big fan of a guy you know sitting a couple seasons and then going to play. You throw guys in like Sam Bradford and stuff, and they're, they're st- you also put them on teams like like the you know the, the Rams and the, and yeah, the Cleveland. Right. No one can make it. In Cleveland. Everybody everybody talks about well you know all these guys they played from the you know Eli Manning played from the beginning and Peyton Manning played from the beginning. All these guys, but then you also have guys you know like uh, Aaron Rodgers, like Aaron Rodgers, and, perfect and Philip Rivers, good examples, perfect of guys. examples. And, you know and and. Even you Tom Brady, Brady. and yeah. Tom Brady yeah. too. They sat and they not necessarily had to learn from the quarterback because I heard Aaron Rodgers didn't get a whole lot of help from, from no, Pat Mahomes there. 
But just sitting there and seeing how everything goes without that pressure and learning and then, the playbook. Yes, I, mean, yeah. I would. I'm a bigger fan of that. I would if I was. You know, we talked about it before. If I was the Colts, you know, and, and I had the money that they have, it's easy to spend other people's money. I would draft Andrew Luck. I would keep Peyton Manning, and I would say, Let you know, what? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't care what happens. He's going to sit and watch, and then we'll decide what we're going to do with Peyton in a year. You know, kind of like what the Chargers did with Breeze. You know, Breeze. Remember, we let Breeze go after he had hurt his arm, but he, you know, he was the season before that he had had a pretty bad season, and then he had a good one. They let, you know, his arm was uh, he had hurt his shoulder, and and then they said, you know, it's 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 time to for us to give Philip a. To give him a shot, you know. Well, I, th- I think the reason old uh, Peyton's going to walk the plank is because of that bonus that he's due. I think if it yeah. wasn't for that big chunk but, of change, it might be a different but story. I'm, I'm interested to see if they uh, maybe Let's release see. him, you know, so they don't have to pay him that bonus. But then they sign him. You know, they can, still, resign. They can still be the team that resigns. That's a smart him, thing you know? to do. I mean, because Peyton's not going to be around forever. You can maybe get another couple years out of him. Right. Just enough time for a guy like that but to mature. But there's so many people that are on the on the bandwagon of these guys need to play from the get go. Right. Know? And I'm, I'm not. I'm I not there myself. Yeah. yeah. I'm not there myself. No. Yeah. People jump on that wagon. Like, oh, I can't do it. Well, he's playing for the Browns, you know, Colt McCoy. So we, you know, we've actually gotten away from the, we've yeah. gotten away from the question. <laughs> well, look We're at gonna... Brady Quinn. He never never got a chance with you know with anybody with any sort of talent, and you know they're expecting. I don't know. I think he might be a good quarterback in the league. You know, once this Tebow thing is over, <laughs> <laughs> it's over. You should have been here. We talked about Tebow a little bit. Don't get there and started. We don't have all night. Let's but let's get, actually that. get back to the question because nobody really answered it. Uh, you're the GM. We'll start with you, D. Who do you draft? You got the. You got the. You need a quarterback. I'll tell you what. You know what? The Colts were in a similar situation. Um, I don't know what twelve. They sure made ago, the right choice. And didn't they, they made the right choice. So, yes. uh, um, I'm the GM of the Colts. Quick answer. Man, there's so much pressure to draft RG three and then him not pr- producing. That's the problem. So I think they go Andrew Luck. Yeah. How about you, Evan? Um, I'm just gonna. Not who they go. Who, is that who you would pick, D? I, I would pick Andrew Luck. Andrew Luck. Okay. I would pick Andrew Luck. Evan? What I said earlier about I wouldn't be surprised, that's not who I'd pick, though. I, w- I would definitely pick Andrew Luck. Um, the Cam Newton thing, Cam Newton's also, what, 6'2 and 220 pounds, you know? I think he's not going to. Robert Griffin, we talked about six, this last week. I don't think six, Cam he measured 6'2, but, you know, 190s. He's not going to hit a pocket. You're not going to break off tackles, you know? I'd go Andrew Luck Can I ask you guys a question? All day. Wait, does Nick get a chance to answer? No. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Um, no, I I'm forgot sorry. it was your show. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No. I think uh, I think RG three, but I think they're going to go luck. Yeah, so I think it's going to happen. No, that's go not what we're asking. Would, we're asking who yeah. would you who would draft? You so would RG3. I personally, yeah, yeah oh, I, I go RG three. I draft that. Now I want to ask all you guys questions to talk about the combine and how fast he was at the combine. So what? Yeah. So Mike, what? Mike yeah. Mamula had a, fast too. Mike Mamula had a great combine. If anybody remembers him, and he got drafted first Mike, by Michael the Eagles, Vick? and where he well, go? That's why I said Michael Vick ran a faster is... forty than RG three did. Yeah, how I'm many rings he got? I, I just said that the combine doesn't tell you everything you need to know. It tells it you how, how athletic a guy is. Not, yeah, yeah. It, does, it doesn't mean everything. No, right. It doesn't mean everything. You know what I want to see at the combine? I want to see those little uh, those little tractors with the little targets going across the field. I, I want to see that. the quarterbacks hitting that's those. What you, that's they, what I want to see. Where they, you know? where they nail the thing to the golf cart? Got a chop in the ball? Yeah. 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 I love that. I mean, let's see those. Yeah, bring John Brinkus out with sports science truck. Yeah. And let's get going with that. <laughs> I mean, like on quarterback Let me see RG3 throw through a tire 40 yards down the field, and then I'm all in, baby. <laughs> you all in? I'm all in. Good call. Because at the end of the day, that's what I want. You've got to read defenses and everything like that. The combine just proves how high you can jump and how fast you can run. Back to what Evan said, though, earlier um, with the whole uh, Andrew Luck thing, I'm not, I'm obviously not a talent evaluator for the NFL or nothing, but every time I would watch a Stanford game on national televised or whatever, I didn't go away from that thing, oh man, that guy's going to be a star. Okay. I never, I, that yeah. that never crossed my mind, but then again, it never really did. You watch Stanford either. games? Uh, yeah, when they're on, yeah. Let me ask you this are you guys a fan of, of guys who are supposed to, you know, dra- be drafted high? Are you a fan of them not throwing in the combine at all? Well, what do you guys think of that? Yeah, why, why do they it's not ridiculous. do that? Yeah. Well, I mean, look, because it'll hurt their status. They're yeah. already considered one yeah. of the top two picks. Don't worry about the money. Possibly but, could. But look yeah. no further than Cam Newton. He he shit the bet. He did terrible. Excuse my language. He did terrible last oh, year. Oh, the producers very bad. Your hand. I know. I got, I got sorry about down that, everybody. Do twenty. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, Cam Newton had a terrible time throwing in the combo. Is that right, Nick? That's absolutely right. But look what happened to him. He had a terrible didn't time throwing in the what, season. Look what he too. did. Look at where he, he went. Ran you know? for a million yards. I mean, he couldn't. The deep ball, he he did terrible with throwing last year. But you know what? He 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 manned up and he did. Did he, did he throw at the combine? He did. He looked, didn't do so good. I mean, I remember him so having good. a pretty bad Senior Bowl moment. Does whatever. the combine what really matter? Thing? Like, do they really go off that? You know, it makes you wonder. I, it, yeah. I don't. I don't think they use it as I much think as the combine. Really, only more about raises people. 
only raises people. I don't think too many people drop down because yeah. they no. they already you build what you think you you get when you see them maybe in, middle the, in college. I would think yeah. the only it's thing maybe for middle I think yeah. the only thing they really go off is maybe like linemen with that like how much they can bench, how strong they are, maybe yeah. their speed and quickness at you know laterally. But a, an athlete, a running back, you know. Who cares if he runs a 40-yard dash at 4-4? It's how fast can he hit a cut and how fast, yeah. you know, what yeah. kind of reads well, can he make? Right. And they're also looking for that, too. If you if you listen to the guys in the combo, they're of, saying... A lot of school stuff, they, a lot of classroom stuff they talk about. Well, yeah, and, and, and they're also saying, you know, in this particular drill, it's not it's not life or death if he doesn't catch this ball. What they're looking at is the is the footwork. They're looking right. at, you know, how he does this, how he does that. It's not necessarily right. catching the ball. He can so. work on catching the ball. Right. With all this combine stuff, uh, I forget when it was, but... Uh, um, one thing that was, I thought was pretty funny they were talking about it on Mike and Mike is that when Deion Sanders went, went to the combine, he ran the 40 yard dash and he left. <laughs> yeah, I heard about that. That was beautiful. I said, Are you kidding me, dude? He ran like awesome. a 4 2 and then he just he left. Split. He yeah. left. He's like, I'm out. Peace. That's balls, man. Yeah. yeah. That's balls. yeah you'll find it. me somewhere in the top 10. That's, I, I love it. Surprised the Raiders didn't. Love it. Yeah. They wouldn't yeah, have No kidding. Yeah. Good point. I, I heard that and I. Just about it was dude, dude. hilarious, and per, for him too, of all people, I absolutely yeah. believe it. Absolutely, yeah. there's oh, no yeah. doubt in my mind. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. No doubt. Oh. All right, well, that's going to wrap up the show for this week. I want to thank everybody who watched us live streaming, and uh, everybody who's downloading us, watching us on YouTube. Um, I want to thank Evan for stopping by, contacting the show, stopping by. If you uh, if you think that you know a lot more than any of us, uh, Bring you're it. welcome to contact us. You can contact us at uh, director at pmlbmedia.com. Um, I'm Little Boy from the Fat Man Little Boy Show. Uh, my Twitter is uh, at LB Host. You know what? G- g- you know another monkey wrench? No, knows more than us. I mean, we're just some dudes up here giving our opinion. Okay. Thinks you thinks you're smarter than us. Thinks your opinion is more entertaining. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. If you Thank hate you the Cubs time. or you love Tim Tebow, we'd love to see you on the show. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm on. Put this guy in his place. Yeah. <laughs> All go right. Raiders. Uh, you want to give out some information there, D? Um. Yeah. Check out our. Uh, um, we do a weekly MMA netcast, uh, pound for pound sports talk. It's pfpsports.com. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at Darren PFP Sports. Follow me on Twitter at PFP Sports.com. You got to do something to change that. I will. I'll fix it. Yeah. We got to fix that up. <laughs> I don't have to. Well, I want to thank everybody for joining us. Remember, when you go to the gym, when it's time to shave, put on a towel. I don't think so. Let it hang, baby. No. Absolutely. Go to the gym, though. Yeah, but go to the, go to the gym. <laughs> Take care. Cheers.